with the website richardarmitagenet.com. Oh, he's gonna stop you. Okay, guys, um, Tumblr RA Army, Twitter Armitage Army, all you guys, I just want to say, between us, I kind of feel like Bridget Jones right now, a little tiny bit. Um, I'm just waiting for there to be like a, a firehouse pole that I'm going to have to slide down and my butt's going to be on camera or something. I just, I want to say up front, I have no idea what I'm doing. So um, please be patient. I hope you enjoy all of our interviews. ArmitageNet.com. How are you? I'm oh, doing great. How are you? I'm great. I just wanted to ask you about uh, tornadoes because my dad is actually uh, one of those people who watches the Weather Channel for hours, um, and we always thought he was kind of a nut, but I guess not. Apparently. No, there. Uh, well, we're all a little crazy, but <laughs> there are plenty of us out there. So there are a lot of people who love just to watch the Weather Channel and keep up with weather, and they're obsessed with severe weather. Yes. I'm one of them, so. <laughs> Great. Well, uh, I hope you had fun making this film or consulting on it. Oh, uh, it's been great. I'm I'm more consulted with sort of the special features with it. Uh, so I'm seeing it for the first time. I'm very excited. So I can't wait. Uh, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure it'll be a blast. I've I've I know a lot about it. So uh, I'm sure it'll be a great time. Are you ready to be blown away? I am ready to go into the storm. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Enjoy it. This is Abby from RichardArmitageNet.com reporting live from the air conditioning vent of the press tent. And we're sort of just need to stand here for a while because it is hot. I even brought a dish towel because I am sweating like a pig. So we are really just trying to look like we're doing something official uh, so that we can stand in this air conditioning, this wonderful, wonderful air. Uh, just for a few minutes so that uh, we won't collapse of heat exhaustion before Richard Armitage, Sarah Wayne Callies, Todd Garner, and the rest of this wonderful cast and crew come through here. You've been my lifeline in this whole thing, and you've been great, and it has been fun. Um, you know, you walk a fine line when you're shooting, not to give too much away, but uh, you know, you guys have been so much fun to play along, and it's been great. Great. Um, I also had a question about Detroit. Since the movie was filmed in and around Detroit, and Detroit kind of needs a little bit of love right now, it's going through some hard times. If you could drive any American muscle car for a day, no speed limit, no innocent bystanders, what would you pick? Well, I have a Chevelle convertible, so it would be that. <laughs> I have a, uh, a Chevelle muscle car, and yes, it is very fun. If there were no speed limits, it's very fun to drive. What color? It's black with white stripes. Awesome. Thank you so much. No <laughs> Todd Garner, producer, Into the Storm. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Here he comes. Oh, Todd. Oh, he did? Because you guys all made fun of him that he, I was taller than him? <laughs> he wore heels today. You are tall. I know. So we took it. pictures next to each other, and he goes, oh, I'm taller than you now. Watch. He's got heels on. Look when you see Because I wore flats. Because <laughs> of you guys. <laughs> Same army. No, the same uh, army. No, no, no. I know different units. Yeah. I, I wanted to ask you a quick question. Yeah. Okay, so you and Armitage both had American accents in this film. Yeah. Why didn't Cress just learn the British accent, the Queen's English? I understand. It's just that we'd have to have a scene explaining how they got to Oklahoma, <laughs> and you should have seen Cress when we showed up. Just what's going? What's going on here? You're from where? You know, he had, he couldn't understand what was going on. Did you ever practice the dialect with Richard? Yeah, we did actually. We had um, we had a, an amazing dialect coach called Julie Adams, who um, who kind of really helped us hone our accents and get them somewhere where I hope they're near believable. I will be the judge of that when I see the movie, hopefully tonight. Yeah. No, not yet. But uh, was there any word or phrase that gave you trouble? Yes, there was. I, I, I actually went in a bit cocky about my accent. I thought I was bang on. And I came in and um, and I was saying, 
sixth instead of sixth. And also, dad, I mean, I say dad a lot in the movie. I'm, I'm kind of calling out for my dad a lot. And I said that very badly. And it was, and it, as it turns out, that was about 60% of my life. <laughs> so it was, that was a real struggle early on. So Julie worked with me a lot on that and got it to somewhere near acceptable. But she was amazing. And, and, and I know she worked with Richard a lot. And uh, you know, just getting it, getting it so we all sounded like we were from the same family tree. I love that you said "bang on" just now, but well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Are you all together? No, no. separate. We're doing separate. separate. <laughs> With RichardArmitageNet.com. Right. It's your favorite thing in the whole world, a red carpet. This one's black. <laughs> So you're off the hook. I'm all, I'm all good. So this uh, this movie was filmed in and around Detroit, and Detroit needs a little love right now. Um, it's going through some hard times. So I wanted to ask you if you could drive any American muscle car for one day with no speed limits, what would you drive? Mustang. Really? Yeah, we were there for the Dream Cruise. You know, it was uh, it was an amazing. I actually had an, a fantastic time working in Detroit. All of our crew were local. Uh, everyone worked so hard. This movie is really a testament to, to that kind of work ethic and I loved being there. I did so many things. I went to the Heidelberg Project and yeah, the Dream Cruise. Awesome. Go to Michigan and, yeah, when, there's, when the Dream Cruise is happening. I know there's a silent cruise for Chevy Volts and electric cars. I drove one of those. So. Uh, yeah, I'll the Mustang. <laughs> the Mustang would be my, my choice. Um, your fans are so excited for you opening this major movie in New York. Do you have any words for your fans? Uh, just all the outpouring of love that all the websites and Twitter is experiencing right now? I would just say thank you very much for the support and you know despite the fine weather that we're having go go see the movie this weekend and uh, give us a, give us a fighting chance to sort of make it at the box office because we're a small movie and we're up against some some big competition but um, yeah I'd like to feel that the the movie would do well great thank you so much nice to, nice to talk to you thank you very serious screenwriting question for you. Yes. Okay. Are 737s and tanker trucks the new fruit cart? Um, yes, absolutely. I wish I could take credit for that. I Honestly, when I wrote it, it was 18-wheelers, because I literally saw a video of 18-wheelers like having that happen to, and then someone much smarter than me was like, let's make it planes, and I was like, awesome, and uh, now it's 737s, so. Awesome. That's like the this one goes to 11 of Into the Storm. Yes, absolutely. God, I wish I could take credit for that. Honestly, I, yes, I came up with it. It was the first image in my head. No, I had no, it was somebody smarter. I tried. <laughs> oh, great. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All right, now on Twitter, like, let's, thank you. let's favorite some things oh, yeah. together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just want to have a special shout out to Ali, who runs RichardArmitageNet.com. She put so much work into that website for all of the fans of Richard. Um, she works really hard, and it's just amazing that she um, uh, nominated me, I guess, to have press credentials for this wonderful premiere. So big thanks to Ali and Richard Armitage Net. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the reporting.